Are cryptocurrencies going to zero? Several crypto firms reportedly cautioning that thousands of digital currencies and blockchains are likely to collapse in the coming years. Does it go to zero? It, it could go to zero. It's going to go eventually a whole lot closer to zero than a lot. You heard it here first. Bitcoin is going to zero. 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 All right, we get it. Now that we're in a brutal bear market, it's only natural you see the naysayers come out of the woodwork and declare once again that crypto is dead. But what would it take for crypto to actually go to zero? This year, the crypto markets are crashing for a few reasons. There is massive inflation, the government tightening monetary policy and raising interest rates, uncertainty from war, looming economic recession, and reckless leverage blowups initiated by the Luna and UST crash. If you're hodling your crypto through this market, well then... Congratulations, you played yourself. Don't worry, because I've definitely played myself in this regard too. Well, 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 how the turntables. I'm still super bullish long term, but let's explore some of the scenarios that would destroy whatever is left in your crypto portfolio. Number one, the US government bans the use of crypto. Ray Dalio has said that there is good probability Bitcoin gets banned by the government. This is perhaps the most detrimental event that could happen to crypto adoption. Even though crypto is censorship resistant, the government can still ban the conversion between crypto and fiat currency. This effectively means that it will be illegal to convert your crypto into dollars. 99% of people will not want to own crypto if it is illegal and not convertible with fiat currency. US lawmakers have said in the past that they do not intend to ban crypto, just regulate it. The US currently has the leading position as the Bitcoin mining hub, overtaking China when they officially banned Bitcoin mining in 2021. Despite the ban, Bitcoin mining appears to have survived in China. This is why US lawmakers realized they cannot ban Bitcoin the network and instead pivoted to regulating the innovation. So perhaps a US crypto ban is not very likely, but it's always a looming threat. Regulation and policing the industry is good and needed. Needed. It brings trust and safety, which allows for retail and institutional adoption. Number two, USDT or USDC stablecoin collapse. USDT Tether and Circle's USD Coin, or known as USDC, are the third and fourth largest crypto by market cap, respectively, with a combined value of over $110 billion. Stablecoin is a fixed price cryptocurrency whose market value is tied to another stable asset, which in this case, the dollar. They are the quiet power players of the crypto space. Now, if either one of these stablecoins failed, it will make the collapse of the algorithmic stablecoin, Terra USD, aka UST, look like sunshines and rainbows. Of the two, USDT Tether is a dominant one, having been around since 2014. Fun fact, Tether was co-founded by former child actor, Brock Pierce, who you might recognize from the Mighty Ducks. I can't believe this news. That's right. Anyway, there's a lot of money riding on the belief that they have the cash to back their tokens. It is involved in half of all Bitcoin trades globally. However, they are constantly embroiled in controversy. They have a long history of scandals dating back to 2016. USDT's biggest problem has always been that they lack transparency. Tether was even banned from operating in New York. Their reserve is not audited, leading to speculation that they do not have the full backing of dollars for their coins. On the other hand, USDC is the stablecoin issued by US-based technology company Circle. Circle is backed by Goldman Sachs. USDC is perceived as a safer alternative because they're more transparent with their reserves. They also have partnerships with regulated institutions like BitGo and Genesis. However, it is precisely this partnership with Genesis that has led many to speculate that USDC could potentially be going bankrupt. If you go to Circle's website, you will see they optimize cash and liquidity with creating yield by partnering with digital asset trading firm Genesis. Unfortunately for Genesis, they suffered massive losses this year as a result of lending to now defunct Three Arrows Capital and Babel Finance. As of now, this is all speculation and USDC is still operating without hiccup. USDC and USDT are both used in crypto leverage trading. Therefore, they can have massive systemic risks. If either one of them went belly up, they will spell trouble for crypto. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Number three, severe economic recession. One of crypto's momentum drivers is price. When prices are going up, investor interest and adoption grows, which of course attracts a lot more developers and builders to come into space, forming a positive feedback loop. Of course, the opposite is also true when prices crash. Crypto has never been through an economic recession, and there's a lot of pessimism about what this will mean for coin prices. Downward coin prices mean fewer developers, lower interest and adoption. The longer the bear, the less attractive the risk and reward for investing in crypto gets. 
But before you dismiss crypto and think that it might disappear, one simple logic should convince you that it's not going anywhere. And that is people love gambling. Stay out of those casinos. As one writer from Global Coin Research tweeted, among humans being desperate, greedy, degenerate, lonely, and trapped in the metaverse. Do you think any of these scenarios will happen? Comment in the comment section below. On the contrary, if you think crypto isn't going to zero and you want to find that next 100x return, I share with you my framework on how to find them in this video here. Big thanks to Shiftsack on helping me with my research today for this video. Guys, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Keep compounding and I'll catch you on the next journey.